Hello lads, how are you all doing? So, we got about a week until Legend of the Sea Devils comes out. And if I'm honest, I'm always going to be excited. Mainly because it's Doctor Who and I'm never not going to be excited for new Doctor Who to be added into the legacy of the show. However, I think we do have to ask ourselves an important question. Do I think it'll be any good? So if you want to see my full review after like the episode's done, um, subscribe. Thanks. But I have a list of reasons why I think it will be good and a list of reasons why I think it won't be good. So let's talk about it. Reasons why it'll be good. It's the Dosh Darn Sea Devils. Now I really like the Sea Devils. I think they're a fun villain in the classic series and I love that we're getting a version of them in the modern series. They have a lot of potential. They're very well designed. I know some people are slightly complaining about the design. I really like them. I think there's a lot you can do with them. So I think there's a lot of potential with these characters. Next reason why it'll be good, I'm going to go with the Doctor and Yaz relationship. Now, most of the time, I am quite against the Doctor having romantic feelings for a companion. However, I think this one could be different for a couple of reasons. First of all, it's fantastic representation. That isn't something that should be ignored. That is brilliant representation for Doctor Who to spread to its fans. It's, it's done it before, but having the Doctor involved in that type of relationship, it's great. It's, it's, it's great great representation. And I also think if explored right, and I hope they haven't left this too little time to actually be properly explored, if explored right, it could be a very interesting element of the episode. Next reason it's going to be good, I think it can have some fun. Look, when you've got one of these like Easter type episodes, I know it's only happened once before, but the last one was incredibly fun. And I also think it's important before, let's face it, the centenary is going to go quite deep and probably won't be a fun episode. But Doctor Who should never forget that it's definitely allowed to be fun. And I think this is a perfect example where we can have a Jodie episode that just is really fun. And I'd like that. Final reason, the budget looks really good. One of my big complaints about Eva the Daleks was that it felt like a budget and a Covid special. Where they saved the budget, didn't like fight any Covid restrictions and it was, you know, just done. Whereas the budget on this one looks pretty damn good. Like, Chris Chibnall's CGI has always been, like, pretty good. Like, his era has pretty consistently good CG. And that looks to be continuing here. And there are some beautiful shots in the trailer alone. Now, let's get on some reasons why this might be bad. Oh, that was really smooth. I'm a proper YouTuber. First reason. I haven't been fond of a Chris Chibnall special since... 2018? Another resolution was, I really liked that. However, personally, his other two Dalek ones I haven't been fond of, and I know those are like New Year's and Dalek specials, so this, you know, isn't quite comparable. I I've never been too fond of what he's done with specials, and this looks to be one of his more grander specials, not one of his more low specials, like, like low stakes specials. And he's never done a grand special well, whether that's, you know, to looking at Revolution of the Daleks, whether that's looking at his series finales. Chris Chibnall has never succeeded when he's gone big, and that scares me. Second reason, there's only two episodes left of his run. And personally, for me, I think Legend of the Sea Devils will have to do some work to set up the centenary. And this is bad for one of two reasons. Reason number one, the setup might take up too much time from Legend of the Sea Devils and mean the story itself doesn't work. Or, and this isn't a bad for Legend of the Sea Devils, but it might lead the centenary with too much work if it doesn't do the setup elements. Either way, unless it's done incredibly well, I think they've left themselves in a lose lose situation. Third, Chris Chibnall doesn't always know what to do with his classic monsters. I mean, in the last episode of Doctor Who Flux, we had Sontarans eating chocolate in probably the least funny scene in Who, and that includes, you know, scenes that try to be serious. Like, let's just say I laughed more when Donna got her memory wiped than the chocolate scene, and I didn't laugh at all when Donna got her memory wiped. That's how I feel about the chocolate scene. Overall, recording this video has meant I completely have no idea whether I think Legend of the Sea Devils will be good or not. There are so many moving parts, and there are parts of me that are saying the trailer looks really good, but also I've been let down by Chibnall's Who before. I'll be completely honest, in the fan community, I've enjoyed Chibnall's Who 
less than average from the vibes I get from reviews and Twitter. Am I excited? Yes. Am I trying to keep my expectations on the lower side just so I can be pleasantly surprised and or not too disappointed? Yes. Thanks for watching. As I said earlier, please subscribe. Uh, we've reviewed uh, quite a bit of Doctor Who and we are definitely going to review Legend of the Sea Devils because I'm that class. Also, if you want to see my thoughts on some of the candidates for the 14th Doctor, click it. Does the swimmy hands hypnotise you into clicking? Please, please click. Just, just, just do it. Why are you still watching my face? My squeaky voice. Click it. Please.